Jason Chapman from the United States for this one. Ronaldo. The wiggle of the leg and the, the roar goes up. Of Saudi Arabia, fourth on the all-time list. That's a lovely ball forward here. And potentially an early opportunity, and it's a clumsy challenge by Laporte. But the, the flag has gone up on the near side. Yeah, it's good football, he's gone, yeah, he's gone a little early, although the, the right-back was in quite a deep position. Hamel Walid with a, a lovely run right to left, in to, out to in, sorry. Paid a lot of money for him, 60 million euros, that uh, record signing of Mane. Gone up a lot very quickly. And it was Abdulrahman Garib. A lovely sweeping ball from Brozovic, collected by Sultan al -Ghanam. Decent ball in! Doesn't quite fall Ronaldo's way beyond the far post. A little bit short, Banega beaten to it. Brozovic collects, chance to shoot, which he takes. Beaten away by Kim. Oh, and a good save there from the keeper. Just got his hand up there as the shot came in from Garib. Brozovic has got five yards, maybe even more, to just stride into. He's going to find the far corner, needs the intervention from the goalkeeper. Brozovic once again really uh, active in the game so far. Otavio says there was a handball. Is the arm out enough for that to warrant a penalty? Well, from that angle, the arm didn't look as if it was far out from his body. Well, you just guess which way that decision was going to go when the referee was asked to go and have a look by the VAR. Now he needs to get the better of Kim sung -gyu. 1-0, never any doubt about it. Cristiano Ronaldo for Al Nasser. A hat-trick in the last game, and an early penalty gives Al Nasser the lead in their second home match of the season. In from Brozovic. Free header, it's 2-0. Ronaldo at the double. threatening to run away with this fixture. Oh, the little nudge away, he pushed the defender away slightly, didn't he? There it was um, Fawaz al sukur who was just pushed away by Ronaldo there, which may have forced a collision with his teammate. Well, it was a great header, but it will not stand. Yeah, I think they'll have been relatively relieved just to ship with one goal from the early barrage sent their way. Here comes Ronaldo into the box, down he goes, penalty kick, second one of the first half. Well, again, I think that's really clever play from Ronaldo. Garib, I think, with the reverse pass into him, and he knows his contact's going to come. And he did, and the keeper was nowhere near it. Take two. Same outcome, same place. Kim got closer this time, but not close enough. Well, he thought he'd scored his second goal of the match a little while ago. Now he most definitely has Al Nasser 2, Al Shabab nil. Sungu almost waits on, on that occasion. Don't think he commits really one way or the other. He actually dies probably after the strike has been taken by Cristiano Ronaldo, and he probably gets more purchase on this second one. It's probably a cleaner side foot than the penalty that gave Al Nasser the lead. Nothing by way of opportunity for him so far this evening. Brozovic, Al Shabab backpedaling here as Ronaldo plays in Sadio Mane! It's three! The football's fast flowing. Three in 40 minutes. It's wide open spaces appearing. Transferred from left to right. Brozovic, look at the space for Ronaldo. He's actually a little on the stretch there, Sadio Mane. Just skips off the surface. So to control that on the stretch, that's a phenomenal finish, brilliant stuff. Well, it's broken the game completely open. Team who finished fourth in each of the last two seasons. They're in big trouble in this match. Remember, they haven't won yet this season. Two draws and a defeat from the opening three matches. Little bit of a flare up there. Sadio Mane involved in that. Tempers raised, referee's got some sorting out to do. Iago de Santos. And Sadio Mane. Dos Santos isn't happy with that. They exchange a few words. 
Sadio Mane gets a yellow card from the referee, and so does Thiago dos Santos. There goes the half-time whistle. Uh, 45 minutes to savour for the home crowd. Al Nasser leading by three goals to nil. Two penalties scored by Cristiano Ronaldo. The third goal late in the half scored by Sadio Mane. Ronaldo also had a header disallowed for a push. It's a long, long way back for Al Shabab. At half time, Al Nasser three, Al Shabab nil. And the crowd loving what they've seen so far. I mean, he should be a good signing, shouldn't he, Otavio, as the club's record by, but he really looks it all right already, doesn't he? He looks to be a difference maker as Gary bursts into the box. Al Ghanam collects it. Well, an unorthodox looking save from King Sung Gyu. Extend his arms back the other direction to make the save. Very nearly getting in now, Otavio, as you said. And then here, he's a little bit unsighted. Does well, maybe, to react in the end, actually. Have they got the necessary quality to take it on and create something at the moment? The answer would be no. Yeah, he doesn't, doesn't have that pace now, does he? But he's still a really good player. Ever Banega, a player of real quality. Habib Diallo. Well, at least he had a, a sighting of goal there. Banega under pressure. Losing out. Ottavio, delightful flick. Ronaldo! Yeah, I think the flag was up, but by Al Nasser. Yeah, it's just his left foot. Tidied up by Gustavo Cuellar and away by Banega. Still only half cleared. Pushed away the shot from Garib by Kim Sung Gyu. It's a second half that has the potential for more goals. Mane, who could burst into pacey life at any moment. The pressure from Cuellar, who goes diving in, doesn't get the ball. And it's played in! Oh, just wide from Ronaldo. Lovely build-up play. The quick pass in, flicked on by Otavio. Ronaldo first time, whistling past the post. So nearly four. Yeah, they seem to be after Mane a little bit, don't they? A few robust challenges going in. Otavio round the corner. I think Ronaldo, he recognises where he is. Gorzovic. Deciding to keep going here. Otavio looking to place it. Wants a handball. I think he's got it. Penalty, third of the match. We'll get a better idea here. Well, that one's definitely more of a penalty. He tries to get the arms back, doesn't he, by his side, but it's too late. They're out. And that stops the goal with shot. It will be Garib to take it. We're not going to see a hat-trick of penalties from Cristiano Ronaldo. And Garib doesn't find the back of the net. He does later, but the whistle has already blown. The keeper doesn't touch that and he takes the next touch. That's therefore why it's a free kick, isn't it? If that comes back off the keeper's arm to Garib, no problem at all. But yeah, an opportunity to put a bit of gloss on the scoreline. Here's Ronaldo. A lot of space. Still going Ronaldo. Mane in the middle. Dos Santos. And Mane hits the post now. Well, that was an extraordinary passage of play. But the flag finally does go up. He's a... Uh, a long way offside, isn't he? Cristiano Ronaldo gets to the ball. He makes a hash of the square pass for Mane. Dos Santos thinks, I'll stick that one away instead. And Mane can't believe he's missed that one on the follow-up as well. Babri away to the far side. Habib Diallo takes his place on the edge of the penalty area. Atan Babri sends it across. Diallo! Second attempt. Oh, and he still hasn't scored his first goal. Flag has gone up far side. Hit the post and cleared off the line, but doesn't look as though it would have counted anyway. That's following the, the team's victory in the Arab Club Champions Cup shortly before the first match done. Mane, hacked from behind. The referee will step in here, and it's all kicking off. Just a few yards in from the touchline, and the officials have some sorting out to do. Never Banega and his teammates not happy, but that was not a great challenge on Sadio Mane. Hasn't actually seen everything that happened. Then look at, oh, Banega there. Yeah, that's a red, isn't it? He'll be off for that. It's going to be a red card. There's no way Banega can stay on the field after a challenge like that. Let's have a look at the whole sequence again here. Yeah, I mean, Babries is nearly bad enough to warrant a red card. Just about give the officials the benefit of the doubt. That's a yellow. But that, I'm afraid, could have led to a serious injury and just has to be a red card. It's a good decision, actually. They've sorted that out really well, the officials. It was a bad challenge by Babri and a worse one from Banega. Now Nasser venturing forward once again. 
Al Kanam sends the ball across. Garib has it. In it goes. Ronaldo! And they hit the post again. And now it is a fourth goal. And Sultan Al Kanam. Al Kanam, who was at the end of the challenge from Eva Banega. Al Kanam with the initial delivery. Ronaldo doesn't switch off. He positions himself in between defenders. It's almost perfect. And that's a really well controlled strike in the end. Ronaldo stretching, does absolutely fantastic to angle that towards the far post. And then Al Ghanam on his swinger, he's controlled that really well into the near post. Gets a touch on it, Sung Ju, but cannot turn it aside the post. And the fullback gets a deserved goal. He's been good again. With Noah Al Bouchal and Mukhtar Ali coming on. Here's Ronaldo now as they look for number five, beaten away by Kim Sung Gil. And they carry a threat every time they go forward, and the flag has gone up once more on the near side, not for the first time this evening. So Al Namer on, and Cristiano Ronaldo takes his leave. Standing ovation, all four corners of the ground. Two goals tonight and one disallowed. Two penalties from Ronaldo in the first half. Al Sulayim is coming on as well. 